sense in which it's obvious that uh, the Russian aggression in Ukraine has helped to trigger a, a spike in the price of hydrocarbons, a spike in the price of oil. And it is vital uh, if we're going to stand up to Putin's bullying, if we're going to avoid being blackmailed by Putin in the way that so many Western countries sadly have been, uh, we've got to get ourselves off Russian hydrocarbons. They're a massive part of the global market for hydrocarbons. They help to drive the price. Uh, we need to talk to other producers around the world about how we can move away from that dependency. Uh, Vladimir Putin over the last uh, years has been like a, a pusher uh, feeding an addiction uh, in uh, Western countries to his hydrocarbons, uh, to his oil and gas. Uh, we need to, to get ourselves off uh, that addiction. What the world is seeing is the uh, return in Ukraine to the kind of brutality, the kind of uh, absolutely indiscriminate bombing of uh, civilian centers of uh, great cities that we last saw in the European continent 80 years ago. Uh, this is quite unbelievable what is happening now in, uh, in our continent. And we need to make sure that we build the strongest, widest possible uh, coalition uh, to ensure that Vladimir Putin does not succeed, that we wean ourselves off uh, Russian hydrocarbons. And that's what the UK 